In mathematics, some functions grow slowly, like linear or quadratic functions, while others grow so quickly that their values become astronomically large even for small input. In this video, we'll explore four functions that represent different levels of growth, exponential, factorial, tetration, and the Ackermann function. Each of these functions grows faster than the last and understanding their growth rate helps us appreciate the vastness of mathematical possibilities. Among the four functions, let's start with exponential function. This function is one of the fastest growing functions in basic mathematics. It describes phenomena such as population growth, compound interest, and radioactive decay. Exponential functions grow at a constant rate relative to their current value. For example, consider the exponential function fx equals 2 to the power of x. From the following table, we can see that the function always grows proportionally to its current value. The relative growth rate is 1, meaning the function grows by 100% of its current value for each unit increase in x. Exponential function grows very quickly. e to the tenth is almost 22,000, and e to the twentieth is already more than 400 million. But it is just the beginning of the hierarchy of rapidly growing functions. Our second function is factorial function. This function grows faster than exponential functions. However, despite its rapid growth, the factorial function is still outpaced by even faster growing functions such as tetration and Ackermann function. Our next function is tetration. It has several names such as iterated exponentiation or repeated exponentiation or exponential tower. Tetration is an operation um, based on iterated or repeated exponentiation to higher orders. There is no standard notation for tetration, though Knuth's up arrow notation and the left exponent are common. Here, A is the base, B is the height. Height means the number of iterations. As you can see from this graph, the tetration function of height 2 grows faster than the other two functions. As you can see from the table, the values for the tetration function of height 3 and 4 become huge even small values of x. Our fourth function, which is the final function, is Ackermann function. It is a recursive function that grows extremely quickly. It is named after the German mathematician Ackermann, who introduced it in 1928. The function is defined for non-negative integers, m and n, as the following. The Ackermann function is recursive and meaning it calls itself repeatedly. So here is how it works. If m equals 0, the function returns n plus 1. And the other one is the recursive cases. If m greater than 0 and n equals 0, the function calls itself with m minus 1 and 1. If m is greater than 0 and also n is greater than 0, the function calls itself twice, first with m n minus 1 and then with m minus 1 and the result of first call. I'm not gonna go further, but if you are interested, please check out my GitHub and I posted the link in the description page. Now, let's look at the table. And in this table, we have all the functions we've discussed so far. Exponential, factorial, tetration of height 2 and 3, and now Ackermann function with m equals 4. As you can see from the values, Ackermann function grows extremely quickly. 
from exponential growth to the mind-boggling R command function, the hierarchy of rapidly growing functions reveals the incredible diversity of mathematical behavior. While exponential functions are already fast, factorial, tetration, and the Arkman function push the boundaries of what we can compute and comprehend. These functions remind us that mathematics is not just about numbers, it's about exploring the infinite possibilities of growth and complexity. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.